I'd like to share with you a really exciting community arts project that's called Henge 21. And it's going to take place right here in the midst of the ancient Dyke Hills under the shadow of the Whitnam Clumps near Wallingford. Now we want to celebrate these ancient sites and we want to make them live again, if only for a short period. We're going to mimic that ancient processional way. I'm going to build a double ring henge that will become a performance area. And we're going to invite the community and artists to celebrate this site with us in Henge 21. What I find moving when I walk in these ancient and mystical sites is that we now occupy this settlement area as they did. We're creating communities, we're building homes, we're having families, we're celebrating life and we're marking death and we note the passing of time. Like them, we have our entrances and our exits. As well as being one of the participating artists, I'm also the arts coordinator. So I'm going to be guiding you through some activities that will help you think about how to interpret and record the space. We're going to start with a quick warm up activity. So it's going to be three minutes and there's a timer in the top right hand corner of your screen. So keep an eye and immerse yourself within the landscape. So work really instinctively and make recordings of things that you feel are significant and of importance. And while you're making this recording, Adrian's going to be talking you through a bit more information about the landscape itself. So what's the concept behind Henge 21? What's the big idea? Well, it's a celebration of an ancient landscape and the people who lived here up to 6,000 years ago. The Dyke Hills is a magnificent earthworks, stretching from the River Thames to the River Tame, banked on either side and constructed by hundreds, if not thousands of workers. General Pitt Rivers described it as among the most speaking monuments of the earliest history of our island. To the east, where the two rivers meet, was the entry to the underworld, and therefore a sacred site. To the south, the Synodon Hills, Round Hill and Fort Hill, and those hills were both a settlement and a significant landmark for the many pilgrims who made the long journey here. It may be the reason why the artist Paul Nash said, it's a beautiful, legendary country, haunted by old gods long forgotten. To the north, a 1.4 kilometre ancient processional way, flanked by burial sites and barrows. And this processional way led to a double ring henge, 200 metres in diameter. Now that indicates its importance for large social gatherings, to remember ancestors, to feast and make music, and to mark the passing of the seasons.
Through this next activity, we're going to be exploring the concept of settlement and we're going to negotiate our own landscape by deconstructing the physical and creating your own interpretation. So think about the findings from your last drawing and reflect on the information you've been given so far and think about what's really, really resonated with you. And we're going to be taking the theme of settlement and reworking it to something that is meaningful to you. So I'm just showing you a quick example here of how I've approached the tasks, but yours could take any form. So it could be digital, 3D, 2D. But following this demo, I'd like you to take the image of the Dyke Hills and pause it and then deconstruct and reconstruct in five minutes a meaningful interpretation to you but I'd like you to consider how the space feels to you. So think about whether it's public or private, whether it's accessible, restricted. Think about the kind of the, the moral landscape. So expectations you might have on behavior, how you might interact with that space. So the fact that we're not there physically, think about how, how you might attach memories to that landscape, which we do with all landscapes. So they're always um, influenced by personal experiences, whether they're remembered or imagined. And you often use kind of local history as an anchor for some of those thoughts. But it's also about how we consume spaces and how we feel connected to that space. So that sort of sense of place. So really try and unpick some of those thoughts as you're experiencing this landscape and then thinking about how you're going to deconstruct and reconstruct it in a relevant way for you. Landscapes also kind of provide us with a, a foreground and a background to the to the settlements that we then recreate. So think about those concepts of, of identity and belonging.